joining me again today because it's a big box and that's one of the things I need him for <laughs> is to do the big boxes of the unboxing. So he's going to be joining us again tonight. Maybe he'll talk, maybe he won't. We don't know. All right. So to thank you for joining us today. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you are a subscriber or a watcher, welcome. All the same. We're glad to have you here today. So one of the things, you know our diamond paint, you know we're trying the misfit market, you know that a um, couple of things that I do are also sew, and I love to sew. During this time of the COVID-19 virus, I've been sewing a couple of masks. And every time we go out, someone always asks, who made your mask? Can you make me one? How much do you charge? Or I can't really say I'll charge anything more because I really just feel it's service to the community. We have been making more and more of them. And my Juki and I have been arguing and staying up very late at night arguing about which one of us is going to win <laughs> on how it's going to sew the stitches. It's already been in the shop and uh, it's relatively brand new, so I'm not quite sure what the problem is. I'm thinking it's probably an id t era. If you don't know what that is, write it down or look up someone who's a computer geek and have them explain it to you. If not, leave a comment below and, <laughs> and I'll give it to you in the next video. But it might be an id t era, or it just might be that that's a crappy machine. Not the company, just that specific machine, okay? Um, but anyway, we'll keep working with that. But my sweet husband didn't want me up late arguing with the, with the uh, machine sewing mask. So all of that long introduction <laughs> to say that we're unboxing a new machine that he insisted we get. And since he was going to buy it with or without me, I had to go make sure he didn't spend arm and a leg because that Judy was already arm and a leg. Um, so he chose this one while I was running my mouth talking with another lady in the store <laughs> who made masks and her husband. And so while she and I were talking, her husband and Martin were checking out the machines and sergers and so forth. So uh, this is the one, by the time I got through talking, he had this in the cart and was going to look for thread or something. So I had to run back and say, hey, what you get? <laughs> so this is kind of going to be his machine when he helps me do masks. Well, we all know whose machine it really is going to be. It's but, your machine, because I went up one of the others. Sure yeah, he can have one of the little smaller ones we have. He can have his Janome back, which is a little bitty one. Yeah, he can one. have that back. Um, so anyway, all that to say, we're going to unbox this for those of you who are uh, there used to be a bunch of these on the shelves, but I noticed now that they're not as many on the shelf. They are flying out. So if you're looking to buy a machine and want to see what's in this box and how it sews, uh, we're going to unbox it together and then we'll plug it up right here. That's right. And we'll show you how it works. So let's get this bad boy open. <laughs> Pardon us. <laughs> Can you say OCD? <laughs> instruction manual packet and in this packet is the manual oh by the way this is a singer confidence one no singer confidence 7640 okay and it's at walmart it was under 200 bucks correct so anyway there's the manual it's going to be loud in the screen <laughs> some stuff we're here to help Registration. <gasps> font. And it has built in font, you guys. So you can actually write, you can monogram with this. So it tells you all of the stitching that it does and all of the fonts. So, and this I'm assuming is a very paper thin, <laughs> useless sewing machine cover. <laughs> we'll make our own. Don't, 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 don't. Cord, power cord. Oh, nothing else. A foot. And you get an extension table. So if you're a quilter or a um, using hoops for the fonts, you're going to need this. So it has the feet that tuck in. So that's cool. And usually you can yep, twist the feet to make the adjustment height. It is 12 inches. So that's good. <laughs> so this puppy, there's your little handle, and there's some information here. Oh my God. It's your little handle. Yeah, oh, and your spool for your thread, spool holder. So you just pop that up or when you want to change it and push it back down. So 
common. Some some stand up straight like this and some lay down. This is your bobbin, Peter. So if you're going to um, put thread on your bobbin, your bottom 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 bobbin, then you will put it up here to string the thread from the thread spool to the bobbin, which we have somewhere in here, the little bobbin. So you use this. Um, unless you are lucky enough to have a bobbin winder, go for it. If not, this is what the rest of us are using. <laughs> so let's put this here. There's some paperwork in here. I want to plug it in. Okay. Information. Preparing the machine and the bobbin thread. Again, the same thing I just told you. This is a thread. That's for the bobbin. And that's uh, how to hook up the feet and how to wind your bobbin. The feed dogs are what help to push the fabric through as you're sewing. But when you're doing something like free motion quilting, where you're just kind of moving around at your own pace and your own design, you don't want the feed dogs to grab. Uh, so it has speed control, so you can go as slow as you need to or as fast as you need to. So we're going to get a little closer so you can see better, and you'll see that it is an electronic machine. There's your controls that, that help you to set your stitch length and width and um, turn it on, and also the font. You can see that right there. You can see the font set. There's a spool thread back there. If you want to flip it around, it might be easier. <laughs> He's my man. <laughs> so there's your bobbin holder, and this is, I'm sorry, there's your spool holder for your thread, and this is where your bobbin would be when you want to thread your bobbin, and that will be useful if you are quilting, because generally if you're free motion quilting, you don't want your feed dogs to be um, up, because you want to be able to move the fabric freely, so it's great that you can put your feed dogs down. It has a drop-in bobbin here, and we'll check out where's the let's check out the accessories i know this drawer opens i can see it i hate that they don't all open the same way there you go most of them do slide <laughs> so here's your accessory packet you get i think the box said 22 accessories so you have your buttonhole maker what else is in here you've got some needles not organic but needles You've got your uh, spool topper that sits on top of the spool. You have your brush. You use this to get lint and stuff out of the inside of your uh, machine in between services with a qualified person. This is your little feeder that helps take stuff in and out. This is a uh, thread holder. You get one, two, three, three plastic bottles. And let's see. You get the little cushion for your thread to sit on, and you get one, I'm not sure what that is, I've never seen that in any of my packets before. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight feet, sewing feet. And this one is really cool because it looks like you can do some bias making with that one. But it has a little slider so you can tell how wide you want it to be. That's probably really good if you're trying to do a scant quarter of an inch or something. And you've got your zipper foot. Every machine comes with a zipper foot. You've got all these various feet that you probably way more than you'll need. Oh, that's cute. And you have your tool that helps you to uh, loosen the screw if you want to change your feet or your shanks. And you also got this little cap. This will also, on the other end, loosen or tighten your bobbin thread. So that's your little, little accessory packet. All right, and this, you slide it right back on and bam, you're in business. Now this is your speed button, so you can make it fast or slow as you need it. It has a uh, needle up and a needle down button. That's good, so you can get your needle to drop down and stay there while you finish doing whatever it is you want to do or when you're turning a corner or something like that. You've got your reverse button. And that says play and pause. That's probably for the font, but I'm not sure, but we will check it out in a minute. All right. Marty's gonna plug it up just so we can test it out and show you how the stitches look. Oh, I went and grabbed the fabric, but didn't grab three. <laughs> I'll go get some thread. It's, for, it looks- For the tiny end here. It's a so. male end. Usually the female is on the machine and the male is on the, the cord of the foot. A 
at least on all of our machines so far they've been that way it's a really nice looking machine one of the things you can tell from here you can't tell from here it looks plastic because the the outside is plastic but the body of the machine is metal so that's really good so it should hold up really well it also has a thread cutter on the side like every other machine everything else is pretty much the same we just have to play with this bad boy here <laughs> you have power okay and of course we have our on and off switch so let's turn it on no nope. first of all we're going to get our needle in it already has a needle in it so i don't have to put a needle in the lever to lift your sewing foot up and down of course you want that and a little clip on the back that you press and it drops your foot off and you put another foot there and just drop it back down or really just lift it up or you can just put it right under there drop it down and then just bring the foot down and pick it back up so it's very easy we need to thread the bobbin so on the here there's a little button you press oops sorry right there that little black button you press it and it pops up the door and you open the door we're going to pop out the bobbin Okay, so it's a drop in. We're gonna pop that out and we're gonna put it on top so that we can thread it. So Marty has a thread. We're gonna go ahead and put our thread on the spool holder. And usually, and this one is no exception, sewing machines will tell you how to thread them. There's number one, there's number two. You, you can follow the numbers like pay by numbers or whatever. So the same thing over here for the bobbin, it will tell you where to place the string. So we're going to take our bobbin. Here's our thread. We're going to place it under one. No, nope, that's just threaded. We're going to go here, wrap around here. You can see the number one right there. So we're going to come around there, cross over. And here's our bobbin. I should have done this before I started, but we're, there are little holes on the bobbin so we're going to place our thread up through that hole there okay so we want to pull that through yep. we want to drop it on here and you'll feel that there's a little cut in there so you just kind of keep working it around till the machine realizes where that cut is a slot in the bottom of the bobbin. So yes, a slot in the bottom of the bobbin. And see, it, will, it won't drop down until you find that slot. So you've got to look for it. So two is to come up through our bobbin, and we did. Three is to come out the top. Four, make sure you push the bobbin holder all the way towards the mechanism. Or on some machines, they have a lever, and you push the mechanism into the bobbin. But either way, make sure that whatever is here, these two are close to each other. Because if not, then your sewing machine will start sewing. So this is what tells your sewing machine that you're doing your bobbin thread and not your actual sewing. Close to cut it off. Put it down. It? It is threaded, and when the machine, when the thread stops spinning and the machine kind of sounds like it's, you know, burning on itself, then it's time to stop. <laughs> it is threaded as far as it's going to go, and uh, you can take your spool off, and you can see that that spool is evenly, actually, yeah, very evenly threaded. <sighs> there is not a bobbin cutter up here anywhere, so let's just go over here to the side and cut. And now to thread the machine itself. So we're going to pull this out. We're going to come under number one. There's your number one right there. Here's number two. So you're gonna make sure your thread goes behind that. And you're gonna come down here and, and you'll see there's number three. And then it tells you to wrap around here. There's number four. So you make sure it's wrapped around that mechanism. You come up and there's a spool right there there's number five you make sure that it loops around that metal spool and catches inside of it come back down and you'll see a little slit there there's number seven okay i mean number six i'm sorry and then number seven is there's a little metal bar right here okay there's a little metal bar right there so you're going to go down number six wrap a, wrap around that metal bar there's right there that's number seven all right so we're at number seven which is that little loop right there that loop right there is number seven so for number 
to put it through the loop, we're going to put it under here through that little loop. We're going to push this down and then bring it between those, there are two little teeth right there. Bring it between there, pull up, and voila, there's your loop right there. See, so there's your thread loop right there. So it made a loop, and then you're just going to pull that through, and it's threaded. Mm -hmm. So the needle threader, thank you, worked pretty good. Actually, first time around. I've never had one work on the first time around. So we're going to take our bobbin and drop it in. It's a drop in. It's a drop in. And then there's an arrow right there. So we're going to come around. And your thread is pointed the same direction as that arrow. So we're going to wrap around that arrow. And then here you'll see another arrow. We're going to swing around that black piece. So we're going to swing around here. And right when you get to the tip of it, there's a cutter, and bam, it cuts that thread off for you, okay? Grab our little foot, put it back on. There are also directions on the foot, if you can see that. Yeah, on the plate, there are directions, okay? So put that back in place. And don't forget, if you've touched this button, it just pops back up so you got to remember not to touch the button as you slide that across okay so we're gonna place it down and what we're going to do is we're going to grab this piece of thread that we threaded it with and then we're going to well let's turn this back down first of all then we're going to press our needle up needle down so that we can catch our uh bottom our bobbin thread so press it now it's down in the machine so we're going to press it again to bring it up and as you can see, we have our bobbin thread looped on right there, okay? I hope you can see that. So we're gonna pull that up. Now I have my bobbin thread and my sewing thread. And I'm gonna put those between my little t uh, foot. And now Marty is ready to sew. Notice I said Marty. <laughs> Here's a little piece of fabric from an ugly creature I made that's left. And we're gonna put this under our foot and bring our foot down. Here's our lever right here and bring that down. We're going to press our needle down. Now this fabric isn't going to move, okay? So Marty has the foot. Wait before you start, mm -hmm. let me press it on slow. So I will hold the fabric and Marty will go ahead and press the uh, foot pedal since it's over there by him. And I'll stand over here with you and we will, let's turn it down just a tad bit. And we're gonna go ahead and go. As far as, oh, the font. We have to read the instruction books for all that. So if you'd, like to, if you'd like to see it do the fonts in action, let us know down in the comments and I will come back and do that. Um, or I'll come back and let Marty do that, either way. <laughs> either way, we'll show you what it does. But if you're wondering what was in the box, this is what's in the box. On the side, it tells you some of its features. The digital adjustments on here are already set in your normal settings. And on the box, it tells you it has 200 stitches easy touch stitch selection, top dropping and bobbin and needle threader, easy to read LCD screen, and eight buttonhole styles. It's a metal frame, it has adjustable speed control, it has a light, which you can see right here. One more thing that we noticed on the box, where do you read that? Free online get started videos. Learn all about your machine with Singer at singer.com slash get started. He has better eyes than I do. So <laughs> there's, um, this is a great resource if you are new to sewing or having problems with your machine, you can log in there and check it out. Um, and one font in 40 character memory. So we are excited to see what it will do. And again, if you'd like to see how the font works, let us know down in the comments and we'll be glad to come back and show you. Other than that, this is what you get in the box. As you see, it came out of the box ready to sew, except for some ID10 errors. <laughs> It came out of the box ready to sew. I think that um, I will do the rest of the masks on this while my other machine and I continue to argue about the quality of his top stitching. All right, so with that being said, we will wish you a good night. Is there anything else you'd like to add about the machine or the purchase or? I just enjoy it. it. And remember that if your time, your effort is worth something too. So if you're gonna struggle with it forever, maybe it makes sense to look for a machine like this. And after everything dies down, Get your other machines fixed. <laughs> All right. And with that great advice being said, we will go ahead and close.
Thank you again for watching the channel. Thank you for joining us. Thank Marty for joining us today. Being my version of Vanna White. <laughs> oh, sorry. And um, th th again, thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. If you're not a subscriber, may I ask you to subscribe by clicking that little button down. I thought he's heard me say this enough times. He no, knows about now, no. but click that little subscribe button down below. And while you're doing that, go ahead and click the little. There's a. I don't know what that is. Like the little bell. notification bell. So that you can be notified anytime that I or we upload a video to this channel. <sighs> Have a great night. Get out this weekend in the yard and do some yard work or play with the kids. Get out and get some fresh air because I know we've all been cooped up for a really long time now. So get out and get some fresh air. And with that being said, hun, we would like to wish you a good night. And remember, if you are having a good day, help someone else have a good day. It's the small and simple things in life that makes life worthwhile. Love and shimmy, son.